Thank you for joining me in another vlog. I am Doses of Tempest. Um, if you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, hey girl, hey. Okay, so before we jump in today's vlog, uh, y'all know how we do. We talk about fibroids and things of that nature. And today I wanted to chit chat really quickly before we jump into everything and give you guys five tips on how to navigate relationships and intimacy with fibroids. As many of you guys know, if you have experienced fibroids, your intimacy life um, has been affected. Or if it hasn't, girl, kudos to you because that is not for all of us. You know what I'm saying? But, um, sorry, I had to take that drink. Oh, by the way, I'm drinking this. It's a, um, it's a plant-based protein shake. I drink these. I just didn't want to drink it straight out the cart. So I just poured it out and put it into my little cup. Make me feel fancy today. Anywho, if you want to try it, hope the light is not too bright. But if you want to try these, these are amazing. Um, no dairy, no soy, no extra, blah, blah, blah. Like all the bad stuff is not in this. They sell them almost at every grocery store and on Amazon. I'll link it um, down. Well, I'll put it in the description um, to where you can find these. They have a lot of variety of uh, flavors. Okay, so in terms of fibroids when it comes to relationships and intimacy, I wanted to give you guys like five tips um, to make sure that you navigate this new season of your life. Uh, so one, when it comes to fibroids and intimacy, or just relations, period. Tip number one, make sure you maintain or create a space where you can have open communication. The person or persons that you are speaking to in terms of your fibroids and what you have to deal with on a daily basis and or when it's time to get down to business on an intimate level, make sure that you feel comfortable sharing this information. At some point when you are sharing information and if that person doesn't seem open to hearing, oh, y'all my fries on. Okay, if that person is not open to um, hearing what you have to say or want to disregard your feelings or thoughts or things of that nature, maybe it's time to take a second to think, mm, maybe this person is not particular for me. So just a tip, do what you please, but my experience have been when it comes to intimacy, make sure that you share your experience um, with that individual um, as you guys are uh, going through this because you have to be patient. This is this is like, like I said, it's a new season and you got to get time to you know, adjust things. Um, so having an intimacy talk will be very important versus just like jumping in that thing because you can, not saying you can't, you can, but... Fibroids does play a big part on your sexual health and especially the type of fibroids that you do have and where they sit. We had talked about the type of fibroids before in the past and especially if you have like a cervix um, fibroid, it's, yeah, it make it difficult. And or just like where it sit. If you have that type of fibroid where like it sit low or sit in a certain angle in a sense, yeah, so that's why I talked about what type of fibers you have first. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Anyway, okay, tip number two, all in all, seek medical advice. Um, and when I say seek medical advice, it is more so of discussing not only like the treatment plans or, or things that you can do, but you want to talk to a, a medical profession to get to get recommendations on what you do, what you can do in the meantime, no matter if you opt in for a surgery or whatnot, is what do you, what do I do in the meantime when it comes to intimacy, when it comes to relations? Um, because fibroids does, not only does fibroids affect your sexual life, but it does affect your mood mentally. Yeah. So as you guys probably would know that, but it's easier to have those up open communication, point one, and two, 
um, seek medical advice to understand what you should do in the meantime so that you can have the best quality of life when it comes to intimacy and or just relations with your um, with, with your friends on whatever level you deem that to be. Okay, step number three, gravy. Who is that? Cookie? Cookie told y'all. I gotta put me first, Lucius. I gotta put me first. <laughs> nah, but for real. Uh, step number three is prioritize yourself. Uh, it's not being it's not being selfish, but you have to put your physical health and mental health in the forefront of your relationships to make sure that one you still you stay sane in these, um, you know, doing your journey. But two, that so people can understand where you're coming from and why you don't do certain things um, anymore or cannot participate in such activities. All right. Because remember, at the end of the day, nobody's going to be hurt or affected by this more than you would. Tip number four. Tip number four. Um, I had mentioned earlier about being patient. So my tip number four is to adapt to your new intimate life. And I'm trying to choose my words carefully because I don't know what YouTube, you know, deem as inappropriate or not and i'm not trying to get banned or anything of that nature but when it comes to your intimate life be patient and be kind to yourself no matter if you had surgery you plan to get surgery you're doing the holistic route which you know i am a strong advocate for be doing stuff holistically um it is time if you have surgery you have the recovery time and then you have that time leading up to surgery. And if you're doing a holistic route, you have all of this time until you see improvements and with your body, with your mind. So again, be kind to yourself, be patient, especially when it comes to your intimate life. Some things, angles, positions that you may have been able to do or wanting to do in the past may not may not pan out the way that you want it to be after discovering fibroids or your symptoms um may have a quote unquote flare up so yeah um with that with your intimate life oh youtube don't ban me don't ban me but with your intimate life, you may want to consider uh, assistance in terms of wetness. I really hope you two don't, don't ban me. So water-based lubricants may become your friend. So just look at it to each his own. But that's just a tip that I would suggest during that time. Okay, so my last and final tip would be maintain emotional connection because physical intimacy, yes, is cool, but it may take emotions a little bit more to get you where you want to be, okay? Um, no matter if it's with your intimate life or not, Having people around you who you know that's gonna, gonna take care of your emotions with care, with grace, with ease, is most important. So make sure that you surround yourself and the, the partner or partners who you um, involve yourself with. And I say partner or partners because I don't know the part of your life and my content is not just for people who are single or people who are in a relationship married. My content is for the girlies who have been, is, or may be affected by fibroids. So with that being said, you want to uh, make sure that you have people around you who's going to care for your for your emotional well-being. And, and keep in mind too, some people may not uh, not be able to meet you where you need to be emotionally, but it is up to you and you only to communicate what you need. So those are my five tips. I hope that helps someone. In the meantime, let's get into vlog.
Hey y'all, hey. Okay guys, so we are, I decided to pick up the camera cause one, your girl, wait, I gotta get some better lighting. Not the best lighting, but your girl got her hair straightened. I can't remember if I recorded or not cause I've been slipping on recording. But y'all, it is starting to freeze up a little bit. It is starting to freeze up. I'm gonna try to do a 360 so y'all can see. Your girl got a little hair, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, no, seriously. Um, I am going to get on the camera today. We are celebrating one of my friend's birthdays and as true women, we celebrate our birthday like the entire month or the entire week and that's what my friend has been doing. I've been working or whatnot. But today has been like officially a day that I can kind of just join in. I think today I am going to bring you, okay, wait. So I think today I'm gonna bring you guys along with me as we go to like this um, country bar tonight. Y'all don't talk about all the stuff that's in the background. Wait. I've been watching you for very long. Trying to give the nurse baby to feel so strong. Okay. Let me let me sit y'all right here and then show y'all my hair. All right, y'all, so um, we're on our way now. Y'all hear my friend in the background laughing. Uh -huh. It's her birthday, so yes, we're on our way now. This is really good light. Y'all see my hair now? Let's just all pray to all the hair guys that it looks slightly like this when I come home tomorrow so we can keep a straight hair at least like three days, but I don't know. Either way, we're gonna have fun. I'll say happy birthday to my friend Mo. Packing out, nobody's pants. He a rapper, but don't got a team. Sucking my waist, so I'm loving my beans. Like a million views in a day. It's so many ways to get paid. I tried dipping, he begged me to stay. Bay, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rum. Big boots in the bus, they plump. She a baddie, she know she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. They like, I tell you, always stay hot. Oh, they mad cause I keep making bops. Oh, she mad cause I'm taking her spot. If I'm damn. She in her mood. Like damn, she in her mood. Like damn, she in her mood. Like damn, she in her mood. She lit, get money too. Like damn, she in her mood. No friends, I don't 
don't fuck with the fakes. Saying they love me, but one in my place. Step in the party, I'm looking the baddest. So the paparazzi in my face. Pretty bitch, but I came from the gutter. Said I'd be lit by the end of the summer. And I'm proud that I'm still getting bigger. Going viral is getting them sicker. Like what? Let's keep it a bug. It's too boring, I'm stuck in a rug. Let me get you her move. Like damn, she in her move. Like damn, she in her move. Like damn, she in her move. Okay, y'all, so it's the end of the night. This establishment is a mix of inside and outside. We were both. It is humid in Houston. Um, I think the way that my hair is, you can tell that there is some sort of humidity in Houston. So it is 1 a.m. And y'all see this? It was good while it lasted. But now it's over. Good night. Good morning, people. It is Saturday. Hey, y'all. It's Saturday. We are in the end of June. So today's actually Saturday, June 29th. Um... Yeah, today I actually don't have any plans. I am actually trying to mentally wind down because I am about to basically like focus a little bit more on me and what I need. My hope and plan for the month of July, which is 31 days, is to work out every day in the month of July. I know that with my cycle and everything, it's going to be a task, but honestly, I am really trying to just get back to finding me to my core. Um, but lately, like, I feel like my faith has been, has not been where I want it to be. So yeah, it's just time to like check in for, for that. So July is really about like, you know, just honing in, getting back to me. All of that good stuff. And of course, unfortunately, some of this does prompt from a never failed relationship. <clears throat> some of y'all been there, done that. Some of y'all may not be able to relate. But being in your 30s and having to date, y'all, is ghetto. It's ghetto. Get yes. up. Oh. So, dog, baby girl, <laughs> if you are in a relationship where he or she just get on your nerve, man, just deal with it. But if it's something that's unbearable, you know, like something that's in your non-negotiables, you know, move on. But please note, when you get back outside in these streets and ready to date, it, it ain't the same. It ain't what our parents said it was when they were dating. Heck, it's dating. Dating just not the same since social media. I, I'm just going to say it. Anywho, I'm in this whole world of dating and it sucks. You think you have something that you don't. I mean, that's just dating in, this, in itself. But um, being in my 30s and having another a relationship when you think it's just going to be something it's just like oh i don't feel like it's wasted time it's definitely learning a learning lesson <sighs> it's just it's draining it's so draining however in the meantime um i really need to just like hone in and understand like where and how i want to shape my life to move forward and since my birthday is coming up in august my birthday is coming up in August. I feel like July is a perfect month to get me together. Um, so a couple of things that I'm working on in the month of July is one, like I mentioned before, I'm going to work out, exercise, do some type of movement every day for the month of July. So there's 31 days of moving around. I will try. I can't make any promises. But I would try to like record or whatnot. And I want to see what my body does. Does my body composition actually change? And if so, what it look like? So, hmm. I'm going to do it like a day one versus day 31. Um, so I'll start Monday first. 
Monday is the 1st of July. So on July, I'll get up in the morning and I'll take like a picture, a couple pictures and videos of my body. We'll see how I go. It's, this is a uh, sunscreen. It's the spray kind, which I love. I really wish that Native had the sunscreen in the spray version. Um, and if they do, y'all please let me know because maybe I missed it. Your girl gotta go out there and do man work. I can't remember if I put it in the vlog or what or not, but, um, or on TikTok, but a couple months ago I went to Walmart and they had um, like a weed eater. It was like $20 and I thought it was going to be like just something that was, I was going to be able to only use once or twice. But when my dad came over and he looked at it, he was like, oh no, it's pretty good. So I'm going to use that to cut my lawn all by myself. Before I go outside and start cutting this grass or whatnot, I actually need to take my vitamins. So that's what we're about to do. I don't know why I can't just get y'all together today on this camera, but y'all kind of know the routine. If not, here are some things y'all, they don't pay me at all, but I truly feel like this stuff is helping me with my fibroids. First, we have my happy flow. One iron pill, likely if you have fibroids, you have an iron deficiency as well. Vitamin D, vitamin B, bitters. Can you blow my mind? Do you want to call? Girl, nobody said anything to you. Go to sleep. What kind of businesses are you looking for? Uh, rude? Nobody said my, nobody told my phone to do anything. NT thing, you hear me? So I've kind of adopted that into my daily drinks. No clumps. Yes. That's why I like it. A smooth drink. Give it to me smooth now. You're going to give it to me. Give it to me smooth. I got self in this bitch. Turn up in this bitch. And it's my self in this bitch. Turn up in this bitch. And it's my dick. On the zombies, baby, you know it's game time. Spring with friends, bitch, we smoke them at the same time. I'm a different nigga, so we not the same kind. We can have that look, bitch, you ain't mine. So whatever this thing is, what's this a um a down sprout or whatever? It's like the gutter drain here. Well, it if you see right here, like the screw has came off. Like this hole is super super big. I hope I'm hope super big. So the screw comes out after doing some research that you should be able to just basically apply this on for it to stick so with some pressure it will go and it'll be flush well at least on one side i don't have the strength that i need or whatever to to do this but y'all see this gap you see this gap right here <sighs> y'all Unfortunately, unfortunately, I will have to get somebody to help me to correct it. Either like, I don't know, like fill the hole so that this screw right here, where we at? So this screw right here can actually stay in, put this one, and then this 
one right here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but right here. Um, so it like stay, but when it's so windy, when it's like super windy outside, um, when it's super windy outside, it like just goes or whatnot, and I hate it. Anyway, now I'm about to cut the grass. I thought that was gonna be like an easy little fix that I could do myself, but apparently I'm not using the right tools, don't have the right tools, or the screws. Either way, I'm gonna have to put this on the the list of like somebody to come and do. Okay, so I don't know how long I've been out here because I actually didn't look at the time. But it is 11.24 right now. I actually stopped like 10, 15 minutes ago because the weed eater, whatever this little thing called, like just stopped. So I don't know if I hit like a button or something. So I had took the battery out because the battery is like super hot. My daddy actually did tell me that uh, to get like an extra battery because they tend to overheat. So, oops. So when I go back to Walmart, I'm going to get another battery. And um, I pulled some of the wire out that like cuts the grass. I pulled it out. It's not in bad shape or whatnot. But again, I don't know why it actually stopped in the middle. I really hope it was just the battery. But I'm just changing looking at everything. So I cut some of the wire out. Y'all, how about as soon as I cut the camera off to go ahead and finish um, mowing the, well, whatever, mowing the lawn or whatever. Y'all, why the thing cut off again? So it definitely has to be the battery. So I'm going to go to Walmart. I'm going to go to Walmart in a little bit to get an extra battery um, and then maybe see what other supplies I have connected to that little thing. So the next time that I have to do this, I don't get cut off in the middle. And don't come in here in the comments saying that, oh, what well, did you charge the battery? Because yes, I did. I charged the battery yesterday and then I unplugged it and I didn't even put it in the, um, the weed eater until this morning. So, yeah, y'all, I'm in a garage and it's hot as hell in here too. <laughs> Don't worry about stuff in the, on a background. Just know it's clean. Okay. Anyway, uh, I don't know why, but I still have a lot of energy, although it was extremely hot outside. So I came in, took me a shower, put on some lashes. Can you see? Can you see them? Can you see them? Anyway, uh, cause my hair ain't done. And doing all that man's work, all my nails popped off. Granted, three had already popped off, but doing all that manual work, all my nails had popped off. So, yeah. So, I want to just feel pretty or whatnot. So, I put on some uh, lashes. However, it's kind of like no point because the sun is killing. So, I'm about to just put my little sunnies on. Just a shirt and some shorts and some white Nike sneakers. Uh, I forgot what these are called, Hirachi something. Either way, 
y'all just something simple to put on as I go run some errands, go to the grocery store or whatnot. today we definitely did our exercise um thank you so much if you got this far if you got this far thank you so much for joining me on another vlog um i'll see you guys in the next one until that time peace